G'day, my name is David and I love my gardening. And uh, at the moment I wanted to do a update. We are at 35 days after planting seeds. Uh, these have been grown indoors. So I planted these, planted seeds 35 days ago. Uh, last weekend I did a transplant. I repotted all my, my plants and uh, they're going absolutely gangbusters. Uh, so I, I repotted the tomato plants, I should clarify that. I repotted my tomato plants because they had outgrown the little pods that they originally were growing in. And um, today I've actually had to raise the height of my lights. Um, the plants were actually in the lights <laughs> and starting to get burnt by some that are a bit uh, bit close to these it actually can get quite hot so um, I've raised the height of the lights today <laughs> to stop uh, barbecuing my little babies so things are going absolutely fantastic um, I use that special mix the three-way mix you would have watched last week if you watched the video you'd know about my secret three-way mix that I use of um, in my watering can nine liters where I use little bit of soluble Thrive, Yates Thrive. I throw in some uh, magnesium um, bath salts, uh, some Epsom salts, and a little bit of gypsum. And uh, look how green these guys have come up. So this is a, this will, this will be very, <clears throat> I did this uh, deliberately. I've got a tray where I just use normal water, no additives in it. And I don't know if you can see the difference between the left and the right there. These guys get the secret mix. These guys just get the water out of the tap. And they're a little bit yellow, a little bit anemic. I mean, they'll be fine once they get out in the sun. But um, as far as chalk and cheese, these guys are just amazing. You know, um, the green and these plants. Uh, couldn't get any healthier. So, 35 days after planting, um, I'm aiming to get these out. Um, we're at the uh, the middle of September in Melbourne, Australia. Here, it still feels like winter. Uh, I'm dressed in my you know, double layers. It's 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 still a, a top of 12, 15 degrees here. So it's way too early to be putting these guys out. But I'll be aiming to get these out in mid-October. Traditionally, tomatoes are planted out in the first first uh, week of November. But I, I like to pick my tomato pick tomatoes for Christmas. So that's my quick update. Um, yeah, the uh, Lebanese cucumbers. Uh, there's some su supermarket greens. Uh, these guys, I could actually plant these out today. But unfortunately, I've got to go and jump on a plane shortly to travel interstate. Some watermelons, different varieties of tomatoes. Uh, I put in some new seeds uh, just now. I've done some um, eggplant that I want to get, get going. So I've just put those some eggplant in today. I've got some loquat seed, locust seeds for the tree, fruit tree I just planted last weekend. So they should germinate soon. A um, whole heap of different varieties of tomatoes. I put in some basil last weekend and these have come up already so by the time I get back in 10 days time I'll be able to plant these guys out I planted last week some um, these are Bolotti beans and they've just you know in a in a week these things are six inches seven inches high in seven days so um, going gangbusters some more eggplant I've just put into trays today some more bolotis going crazy. Um, yeah, we've got some jalapenos. Those guys are going great. I'll probably transplant them next time when I'm back in 10 days' time. All my tomatoes and some more eggplant. I've just planted out now. So 35 days going gangbusters. And with this set up, I've got a plastic sheet, which I'll put over the front if I haven't covered that before. I'll put a plastic sheet over the front here to keep the warmth and the moisture content in. And uh, I water these twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thanks for watching. Please uh, smash that like button and share. 
have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.